Well, hello, geometers and seekers of general truths. Uh, today we begin a lesson on analytical geometry, and I, I will uh, illustrate the difference between Euclidean geometry, which is what we've been learning for most of this course, and analytical geometry through these examples. So let's start out with an, a little warm-up problem here. We have a right triangle. The hypotenuse is missing, right? That's the longest side length right here. And we're asked to solve for the hypotenuse. And so I'm sure you've seen a lot of this already. This We use the Pythagorean theorem okay, that the two legs squared, five squared plus 12 squared, must be equal to c squared, that's the hypotenuse. Uh, 5 squared and 12 squared together gives us 169, that's equal to c squared. Take the square root of both sides and we end up with 13, okay? That's equal to c, All right? So this is a fairly simple problem, especially if you're learning this towards the end of the school year. Um, and even if you're starting on, on this material, it's a, it's a question that you may have seen before. This falls into the area of what I what it's called Euclidean geometry, right, which refers to the Greek mathema mathematician Euclid, who wrote probably the first geometry book ever. Right? And, um, and we're still really using a lot of his theories. So a Euclidean geometry is, is an example of this problem. Now, um, Euclidean geometry, most of it does not care about location. We're not focused on where something is at. We're just focusing on finding lengths, angles, and understanding some of the properties between lengths and angles. Okay? And there's a deep and rich uh, content for us to study there. Right? But we can go on and be going beyond that. Okay? And we can look at a question like this one. And now we're starting to deal with a, a XY coordinate plane. So we want to find the length of the segment that goes between 2, 5, and negative 1, 1. And so I, I want to pause here with the material and just uh, maybe quick, make a quick note regarding graph paper. So if you have graph paper, it would be an excellent time to use it. If you don't, that's okay. Use a ruler and straight edge. and you Use a, a straight edge of some sort um, to draw an accurate XY plane. All right, so because many times in this unit, working with analytical geometry, we're going to be doing some graphing and working on a coordinate system. All right, so I've got my XY axis, and now uh, I'm going to plot some points on here. So the first point we're going to plot is, uh, I actually should give a scale. So I'm going to go by, uh, maybe by, yeah, by ones here. All right, so always plot a scale whenever you're giving a graph or you're creating a graph. Otherwise, it won't make any sense to the person who's reading them. So the first point is going to be 2, 5, and go over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the second point is going to be negative 1, 1. Uh, so that puts it in me right here. So let me see if I can remove this. All right. So between 2, 5, and negative one one and we want to figure out what is the length of this particular line segment okay and notice here that what we're working with is kind of the same idea that we did in, Ge in euclidean geometry except that we care we care about location right that we want to find the distance not just of a given line but a given uh, line segment between two particular points okay and so we want to find the length of this blue line segment uh, and you know we don't have a ruler necessary that we can take out and measure so what we can do though is we can use the same idea as what we did in the previous question uh, namely we're going to make a right triangle out of here so i'm going to use that slanted line here as my hypotenuse and I'm going to make a right triangle. Okay? And one of the nice things about a grid is that the vertical lines and the horizontal lines are always 90 degree angles with each other. Okay, so we're going to make this right triangle. And finding the distance between those two red dots is the equivalent of finding the hypotenuse right, of, the, um, of this right triangle. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick note here. Uh, we're going to create a right triangle.
Okay? And we're gonna, and in order to find the length here, well, we need to figure out the the um, the length of the legs. Okay, so, sorry, let me say that again. In order to find out the length of the hypotenuse, we need to know the length of the legs. So, this leg here, the horizontal one, has a length of three, right? You can see on the grid. Also, we look at the x coordinates. That uh, we know that the x coordinate here is two, right? And the x coordinate of this point must be negative one. It's actually negative one uh, five. So the distance between negative one and, and positive two is three. So similarly, this leg right here has a length of one, two, three, four. So now we can go and figure out the length of the hypotenuse, which I will just call D to represent distance. Okay. So three squared plus four squared is equal to D squared. This is 25 is equal to D squared take the square root of both sides and we get that the length or the distance between these two red dots, red points here in space must be equal to five. Okay. So let's contrast here the two problems. They're very similar. They both use the Pythagorean theorem. It's just that this problem here, which deals with an area we called analytical geometry, it focuses, it focuses on locations, on a coordinate system. Okay. So that's the main idea. We're gonna apply a lot of what we learn in Euclidean geometry, but as applied to a XY coordinate plane. As always, keep working hard, ask for help if you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.